All right, welcome back to another week of the NFL predictions. We got uh, week six today. Quick recap. Uh, week five was actually okay. Slowly but surely establishing a positive record. I'm kind of getting into the rhythm, but we still had some surprises. The Bills just beat the Titans. That was a, that was a weird game, 13-12. to uh, Didn't expect that one. Lions beat the Packers inexplicably, but I, I actually said that it might happen, and it did happen. Mason Crosby shanked like four field goals. It was a horrible day for him. Well, let's hope week six we can continue to do good. Hopefully do even a little bit better. I'm hoping to get around 10 games a week from now on. So that's actually the goal, T 10 games a week. Uh, it would be a good record, I'd be happy with that, but let's hop into it. We got the Eagles and New York Giants divisional game. The Giants actually played better than I thought. They were on the verge of beating the Panthers, but then Graham Gano hit that 63-yarder, which was crazy. And the Panthers managed to pull it off, thank God, because I picked those. But I'm going to say the Eagles, even though they lost to the Vikings, are going to beat the Giants. It's a divisional game, so it's even more important and the Eagles just have a higher class almost everywhere they have Carson Wentz over Eli Manning which is just better and uh, the Eagles are going to beat the Giants got the Buccaneers and the Falcons the Falcons are 1-4 right now not looking good at all and they're going to need to really really they really they really need to start to put putting points on the board in order to get back in that division because you got the Saints, you got the Panthers, who all are really good teams. And you had the Buccaneers who seemed good in the beginning of the season. Now that they're facing the Falcons, I still think that the Falcons are going to win it, but let it be said if the Falcons lose against Tampa Bay, I'm out on the Falcons. I'm out on <laughs> I'm out on the Atlanta Falcons because ever since Sarkeesian took over, in place of Kyle Shanahan, their offense, even though the personnel remained mostly the same, just hasn't had that, just hasn't been clicking as well. And uh, I'm going to say they beat the Buccaneers, but uh, if they don't, Panthers and the Redskins. I'm going to give this to the Carolina Panthers. Uh, they're a top 10 team right now. They've been looking good. They beat the Giants, although with some struggle. And again, tough division. They, they got to take every win that they can out of division, and they're going to beat Washington. Seattle Seahawks and the Oakland Raiders. Now, the Seahawks held their own against the Rams. They lost by two, and it was close. They might they might as well have won it, which I didn't expect at all. With Earl Thomas being the last member of the Legion of Boom officially also now out, I didn't think they'd stand a chance, but uh, the Rams' defense didn't play the run well at all. I actually talked about the linebacker position being the Kind of the biggest weakness in that Rams team uh, on my video comparing the Rams and the 49ers position by position. So that really showed and the Seahawks played kind of well. They still ended up losing anyway. I'm going to say they're going to beat the Oakland Raiders. Raiders still, they're not getting much together. They got that one fluke win over the Browns, which they should not have won at all. John Gruden era not looking good. Seahawks win it. Colts and the Jets. Now, I got... Okay, I got I got to toot my own horn a little bit. I picked the Jets over the Broncos last last week, and I had people hollering at me, "Are you crazy to pick the Jets?" I told you Sam Darnold was great, and when he flashes that greatness, he can beat everyone in the league. And what he do? He he put a bunch of touchdowns, great touchdowns too, uh, on the Broncos defense, which was touted as one of the best defenses in the league. So. I'll have that five minutes of glory. Thank you very much. I'm going to make uh, enough mistakes as it is. Jets did beat the Broncos. I'm happy about that. I'm also going to keep riding that train and I'm going to pick the Jets over the Colts. Now, I said interestingly enough that Sam Darnold is the most talented quarterback that I evaluated since Andrew Luck, who is the starting quarterback of the Colts. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. And uh, both are really good quarterbacks. Both don't really have sufficient talent around them at the moment, but uh, Jets over the Colts. Cardinals and the Vikings. Cardinals played horrible, but still won. I mean, they had one big play in the beginning, and after that, it was all defense. They forced five turnovers to zero, which you can't really lose, but uh, they have to start moving the ball, man. They have to start playing some offense. It's not going to be enough what they did against the Vikings, so uh, the Vikings are going to beat the Cardinals pretty easily. Pittsburgh Steelers and the Bengals. It's gonna be a good game. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this so hard. I tell you, it's a great game every single time. Steelers and the Bengals is great, but uh, I'm gonna say the Steelers win it. Didn't expect me to make this prediction a week ago, but uh, Steelers 
played very well. They handled their business. And the Bengals, I don't, I'm not taking away from the Bengals at all. I'm going to say the Steelers are, they're feeling it right now. They need to go start going up. And they are going to come through in the clutch and beat the Bengals. Even though that might not be the favorite pick. Uh, I'm going to say that's how it's going to happen. Chargers and the Browns. Browns looking good. Browns looking really, really good. Their defense played amazing. The Browns defense played fantastic against the Ravens. They held them to 9 points. Baker Mayfield is doing a solid job. I mean, he he, tur- he still turns the ball over, but he, he's playing well. Uh, Browns are no longer a chump team, which is good to see. I'm going to say the Chargers are still going to beat the Browns because while well, Phillip Rivers is playing probably the best season of his career so far, he's up there in the MVP race right now. And uh, the Chargers are just going to beat the Browns, even though this is going to be a much closer game than we would have thought before the season. Buffalo Bills and the Houston Texans. Bills did it again against the Titans, but I can't pick them. They're too inconsistent. I got to pick the Texans. Got to pick the Sean Watson, DeAndre Hopkins. That was a good combination. They torched the Cowboys, and uh, they're going to beat the Buffalo Bills. Bears and the Dolphins. Now, Bears coming off of bye week. They looked really, really strong last time they played. Mitch Trubisky had that amazing day. The Bears are going to win it. I mean, the Dolphins were a hype team. And for the first three weeks, I fell for it. I picked them over the Patriots. Got burned. Not going to happen. Bears over Dolphins. Rams and the Broncos. Uh, I'll take the I'll take the Rams. I mean, how do you not take the Rams? The, the Broncos lost to the Jets. Rams are still undefeated. They're going to win it. Ravens and the Titans. Both lost last week in kind of underwhelming fashion. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Titans. I like him in a close game. Very close game, though. Um, this might This is a 50-50 game of the week, by the way. I think I've been doing this every week now. The 50-50 game of this week, the Ravens and the Titans. My pick is the Tennessee Titans. Jaguars and the Cowboys. Give me Jacksonville. I'm, the thing is... Blake Bortles is basically on the same level as Dak Prescott. Whether you want to hear it or not, that's just what... They're both okay. They're both NFL quarterbacks. They're okay. They're not great. Neither of them is. But the Jacksonville Jaguars, even though the Cowboys defense is good, the Jaguars have one of the best defenses in the league. I'm going to say they're going to beat Dallas. Next, we have the Chiefs and the Patriots. I'm going to pick... The Patriots. What? Yes, I'm going to pick the Patriots. Chiefs seem unstoppable so far, even though Patrick Mahomes had, um, well, kind of a down-to-earth moment uh, last week. He threw some interceptions, and uh, he didn't play as stellar as he did before. I'm going to say the Patriots' defense steps up. I'll say they step up, and they are going to beat the Chiefs, because that's what Coach Belichick does. And uh, finally, we have the 49ers and the Packers on Monday night. See, if Garoppolo was in here, this would be a different ballgame, literally. But it's Aaron Rodgers and C.J. Beathard. And uh, I I can't give this to the Niners. I got to go with Aaron Rodgers because he's the best quarterback in the NFL. And C.J. Beathard is, well, one of the better backups, but he's a backup. The thing, too, is that the 49ers offense is basically... The entire second string right now. Everyone's hurt. They had three offensive linemen hurt. They had their starting running back and their second string running back hurt. Uh, They had basically all their starting receivers hurt. The only player that's really shining is George Kittle for the 49ers right now. And uh, Mike McGlinchey also played well. But uh, they are going to have to be carried by their defense all game. And uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to find a way to win that game. So Packers over the Niners. We got the Saints and the Lions on a bye week, which is um, okay. I think I think it's cool for the Saints. They'll they won't have much to worry about. They're looking really really good. They're sitting at four and one. Lost to the Buccaneers of all people, of course, in the beginning. But since then they've been really solid. Drew Brees just broke the uh, all-time passing record. Congratulations! So uh, that's. Uh, amazing feat. I didn't get to watch the game live. Also, Tom Brady this week got over 500 passing touchdowns. So, a uh, historic week in terms of quarterback records. Let's hope the season continues that way. If you have disagreements or even agreements, you know what? I'd be happy if I actually got an agreement comment every once in a while. That would be nice for my confidence. But whatever your opinion is, let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it and share it around. Be more than happy if you did that. And uh, subscribe to Beyond Football. Do not miss any more of my upcoming stuff. I recently uploaded a video where I uh, 
presented my pro comparisons for all first round quarterbacks from the 2018 draft. So if you're interested in that, go check out who I compare to Darnold and Mayfield and Rosen, Allen and Jackson. I'm going to say this, I got a video planned on Patrick Mahomes. Uh, that's the next pl player I want to have an in-depth look at because he's been balling out so far and he's putting a lot of interesting stuff on tape which I can't wait to, to get into. So uh, stay hyped for that and I'm going to see you in the next one.